as ever, the drivers would want to round out the weekend with a very frantic and entertaining race. And that's exactly what we got in the sunny conditions at Le Mans for race four, round 16 of the 2021 championship. Shane Brereton led the field away with Steffi Halm alongside after finishing eighth and seventh respectively in race three. Jamie Anderson was looking to make a point from the back of the grid after being disqualified in the morning's antics. The whole field spread out early on with bodywork being flung about from the back of the pack. And everybody had fantastic pack racing all the way up to turn one and into the first chicane. There was plenty of argy-bargy and smoke and penalty markers and bodywork all over the place. But this was typical truck racing and it was going to be a very entertaining afternoon. Shane Brereton, though, made a big mistake halfway around the first lap. And Andre Kurzim got his elbows out and took the lead, while three wide action further back between Hahn, Albathetti and Kish was certainly something to keep our eyes on. Lachko was then stuck in a battle defending from Steffi Halm, with the pack really chasing them down. Norbert Kish tried everything he could to get past Sasha Lenz as the two of them moved forward, both of them overtaking Steffi Halm in the same lap. Steffi with not much room to go into, in all fairness. Andre Kurzim had disappeared over the horizon, though. A fantastic start to his race with some very, very quick opening laps. Then came the main battle to watch. Adam Latchko, Sasha Lenz and Norbert Kish, the three title protagonists at the moment. Very, very entertaining. And no matter what Sasha Lenz threw at Adam Latchko, he threw it back. In this moment, putting Sasha Lenz out wide in the gravel, but Norbert Kish was not able to capitalise thanks to this heavy contact as they went down the hill. Luckily, both of them continued. But it was certainly some very, very entertaining racing from the pair of them. No further action called on that incident. But Andre Kurzim lit up the rear tyres despite a late charge from Shane Brereton to take his second win of the season. Brereton won in the Goodyear Cup with Latchko, Lenz and Kish rounding out the top five. Kurzim, a very happy boy with a very happy team, and we caught up with him just after the race. What was the decisive move, and how what, what does it mean to you to win here in Le Mans? Yes, uh, we know the start was difficult, and yes, I can manage to start, and in the second corner I can, uh, I can go on the first position, and yes, I can do it until the last uh, lap. Uh, Shane was a little bit slower than me, and I know the gap was bigger and bigger, and yes, very glad for us to win in Le Mans. A very gracious victory then for Andre Kurzim, his second of the year ahead of Shane Brereton and Adam Latchko. Sasha Lenz was fourth with Norbert Kish behind. Jochen Hahn made his way up to sixth place ahead of Steffi Halm and Antonio Albathete. Rene Reiner and Stefan Fass rounded out the top ten. Anderson, Garrett, Requenko and Hecker rounded out the field. That's all from Le Mans, though. We will catch you in a week's time at Harama, and then two weeks later, we'll be in Mizano.